Hey guys, my name is Jeff, and today we'll be taking a look at the 2016 Local Motors Rally Fighter, which is believed to be the first vehicle manufactured through crowdsourcing, and the best part is, it's street legal. Now, the body, for instance, is actually made of fiberglass over a tube frame, and was designed by Sang Ho Kim after he won the competition for the body design, and it even features his name sort of signature on the side of the vehicle. Now, the company Local Motors was founded by John Rogers, who has jumped his personal rally fighter over 500 times, and he said says that the Rally Finder is actually inspired by the American P-51 Mustang. I'll leave that up to you to decide if that's true or not. Now, the company was actually based out of Chandler, Arizona, but they switched their focus to self-driving vehicles, unfortunately went out of business in 2022. But I am happy to say an old employee bought the rights to the Rally Fighter to produce parts and repairs, along with build potential future Rally Fighters, which I think is pretty cool to see this vehicle continue onwards. Now, total Rally Fighter production is believed to be about 100 vehicles at about $100,000 each. They originally planned on having them be around $50,000, but obviously things get out of hand, costs come up, engineering, all that. You know, it's just part of doing business. Now, these cars were to be produced in low volume through a rule allowing the vehicles to be exempt if the buyer showed up and helped assemble the vehicle. So every single person of those 100 original sales had to show up and sort of start working on the vehicles in order for them to be sold and be street legal. Now, the cost was kept relatively low by using high volume parts from a variety of manufacturers. So for example, it has reflectors from BMW, it has a Chevy motor, almost a BMW diesel motor, there's still a prototype floating around that has that motor. It has Honda door handles and taillights, Ford brake booster and steering column, Mitsubishi gas cap, and so much more. Now the downside of all of this part sorting means that the Rally Fighter has a Honda key for the door locks and a Ford ignition key, but there is actually a remote uh, button if for unlocking the car as well, so that's not a huge inconvenience, but I thought it's kind of funny, but it saves you money, so at the same time it's kind of worth dealing with it because this is such a cool vehicle to have. Now, powertrain-wise, power comes from a front mid-mounted, it sits behind the front axle, so it's mid-engine, Chevrolet LS3 6.2-liter V8, producing 430 horsepower and 424 pound-feet of torque, and it's even visible through the front wheel well. You can at least see the bottom, some of the front pulleys and stuff, which I think is pretty fun. The engine is also shifted slightly to the passenger side for weight balance reasons to offset the driver's weight, uh, but of course, unless you're competing, that's sort of useless if you have a passenger in the vehicle, but it's great for fun still. Now, the V8 is paired with a 6L90 six-speed automatic transmission, which was chosen because they wanted to mimic the off-road race trucks with similar automatics. And then in the back, it actually has a Ford 9-inch rear end with a three-link suspension sending power to the rear wheels. Now, this thing weighs around 3,800 pounds, but the Rally Fighter achieves 0-60 to 60 in 6 seconds with a top speed of 131 miles per hour. Now, the off-road capabilities come from the long travel suspension, offering 18 inches of travel in the front and 20 inches of travel in the rear with real beadlock wheels that can be aired down to 8 to 10 PSI. Whether you're interested in comfort or performance, that's up to you. Now, this particular car also features some added options, such as the light bar on top and some stuff in the interior. Now, if you're interested in purchasing a Rally Fighter for yourself, values for this thing tend to range from fifty dollars to $80,000, depending on condition and mileage. This particular car actually ended up selling for about $50,000 at auction. So that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to comment down below and let me know what you think of the Local Motors Rally Fighter. It's such a cool vehicle, at least in my opinion. And of course, if you enjoy content like this, feel free to get subscribed for more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching.